Aloha, my ohana. It is your boy back in it to win it. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice big warm aloha and welcome. On my channel, we talk about everything aquatics, but we're going to do it a little bit different in this video. Now, this video took me about two weeks to make. I've been going over old footage one, two years ago, and I think you guys are absolutely going to love this one. This is pure entertainment for you guys. Now, for those of the ohana that have been with me since day one, my OGs, I really appreciate it. And you guys probably have really got to know me pretty well over the years. Now, for those of you guys that are new to the Ohana, this is gonna be a treat for you guys because you guys are gonna get a little bit more up close and personal with moi. So I wanted to do something cool and unique just for you guys. This is um, a video that I dedicate to all of you. Yeah, the Ohana. I really appreciate your guys' love and support. This year has been awesome, but not only this year, the year before and the year before. I've been on YouTube for about three years now, compiled a bunch of videos for you guys. This is the best of moments of the Hawaiian Fish Keeper. So I hope you guys enjoy now for those of you guys that know me and know my channel you know I'm all about having fun spreading that aloha spirit entertaining you guys with aquatics whether it be freshwater saltwater goldfish koi ponds or local fish door tours you know your boy is all about entertaining you now along with entertaining comes music now music is a huge impact in my life huge influence I love all types of genre of music and over the last couple years your boy has spit some lyrics they just come to my dome and I just start to spit it out so here's some clips of the music that's influenced me in my life and uh some music that i don't even know where it came from check it out go 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 looks like we made it boom we're home from the cannon not bragging trying to beat the mind just imagine here we go here we go here we go again what's my weakness fish this is what it sounds like when the doves cry do, 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 do. How could you just leave me standing A lonely and world is so cold World is so cold I'm glad you picked up on my telepathy now, baby My mind is running right now, you know My mind's telling me no But my aquarium is telling me yes Baby! Having my baby, what a lovely way of saying how much you love me. Rah, rah, like a dungeon dragon. Isn't she lovely? I'm an island boy. I do an island thing. Reunited and it feels so good. Reunited cause we understood There's one putting thing and they be the daisy day I look into the sun and then I have some fun and I'm just making things up Gotta have an HOB if you wanna be with me It never rains in Southern California First things first I pop up freaks all the honeys Dummies. Whoa, sweet child of mine. She ain't nothing but a hoochie mama. Hood light, hood light, hoochie mama. Rolling with the homies. Purple rain, purple rain, yeah. Only one. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna rock right now. I'm Rob Ace and I came to get down. Welcome to the jungle. We have fun and games. I'm gonna take my horse down an old town road. I'm gonna. Looks like he's been around the world and I, I, I. I'm the one they call Dr. Feel Good. I'm the one that make you feel alright. Right till I can't no more. Gucci is kicking in. Yes, we heard. We're gonna get him, get him, get him, girl. Got kitty, kitty, kitty. Hey, kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh. Kitty, kitty, go, 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 go. 1990, jump, rock, jumps upon a scene with a lean and a pocket full of green. Go, go. See, your boy loves his music. Now, disclaimer, I am not a professional singer, obviously, nor do I claim to be. Your boy just loves to have fun. Now, getting into this next segment, I've met a ton of different people in the hobby, some of my favorite YouTubers, and I met some of the Ohana out there. Here's some clips of when I met some of my favorite YouTubers back in the day. Check it out. Yo, brought up Jay. Oh, what is what up? up, dude? Dude, do you guys know who this is, man? If you guys don't know who Jay Wilson is, links all in the description below. Go check him out. One of the OGs, man. Jay Wilson. Jay Weezy, Jay Will, 
Jay to the will. Jay Willie. Jay Smooth. Jay I have, Money. I, have, I mean, I have a lot of nicknames. AKA, did I hit them all? Do you guys like that doggy mask? No. He needs the official uh, Hawaiian Fishkeeper face mask. Woo. Now he is too legit <laughs> to, to quit. To quit. <laughs> Hey, look at my boy. Now he's official like a referee with a whistle. Look who just jumped into the seat. Shotgun, shotgun. None other than the one and only IFG. It's about to go down. All right, guys. So the party doesn't stop at Zenzo's house. Zenzo, where are we going right now? Ocean Aquarium. Ocean Aquarium. Let's go. <laughs> Brother Zenzo, man. Thank you again. Oh, yeah. Yeah. For inviting us into your home sure, and showing anytime. us your fish room. Really appreciate it. But this guy's made out of stone. Jesus. Stay off the way. <laughs> that's my old man. Oh, huh? man. This guy's representing <laughs> for us old guys. Make me want to take my shirt off. Just yeah. kidding. What do you think about Zenzo's fish room? Thanks for calling United Airlines Accessibility Desk. Mm -hmm. if you're calling it was dope. <laughs> Got it. Man, those are some good times. The boys and I had a nice collaboration those days. Now, a lot of you know that the aquarium hobby can cost a pretty penny. And I know a lot of you guys can relate to my slogan that I use in a lot of my videos. You know the one, balling on a budget. Here's some videos where I might have said it a few times. Balling on a budget, balling on a budget, balling on a budget. One more time, balling on a budget. Now check it out. This next segment here is about your boy's quick wit and personality. Now, I really don't have any script when I make these videos. Your boy just grabs his camera, goes out, and we freestyle. Here is, uh, I guess you can say, some video footage of me freestyling slash just acting myself. Sometimes I can get out of control. Ask my wife, check out and enjoy these clips. Okay, so you know what's funny is, eh, I don't know if it's funny, but I guess it's kind of immature on my part. But when you guys hear me use the word cock, it's K-O-K, -K, referring to a flower horn, okay? That's the little nuckel bump on his head. You can either say nuckel bump or cock. Sometimes I prefer cock because, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, I'm kind of got the, the mind of a 14 year old maybe. The Hawaiian peacock Ohana has spoketh and I am here to delivereth. And I bet you guys didn't know that I can speak Shakespeareth. Got fish. Anytime you see a sound like that, you can already smell what the Hawaiian fish keeper is cooking. Find and fulfill your destiny. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> yeah, you ever walk by and see an old picture of yourself and you're like, Jean-Claude Van Damme, I looked good back in the day. I mean, check out your boy, he had abs. He had a six pack, look at that. Now I just have a pack. The infamous pothos plant, or pothos. Some say pothos, some say pothos, some say tomato, tomato, potato, potato, akuta matata. Mmm, nice mbuna. You know the funny thing about the word mbuna is, I use it all the time with my wife. I'm always like, ooh, babe, your mbuna's looking good today. <laughs> Try to tell that to your significant other. See what she says. She's going to look at you like my wife and go, what the hell's wrong with you? We got the old headphones. Don't worry, this is just kind of a style that I used to do back in the day when I used to DJ and cut it up on the ones and twos. <laughs> I think the introduction should go something like this. We doing big a lot of work being a little video vixen. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, there were some good times there. Some good times. I know your boy's a little out of control sometimes, but hey, you know, what you see is what you get. Now this segment here is about what I used to say when I would get a new fish. Not the new fish dance. This was way before the new fish dance. It's something that went a little like this. We got some fish. We got some fish. I'm gonna duck down because I don't want anybody to see me, but we got a fish. We got a Fish. I got a fish. I got a fish. I got a fish. I got a fish. We got a fish. Ah, this is some good times, Ohan. I'm having a good time with this video. I hope you guys are too. And if you are, don't forget, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, Hawaiian Fish Keeper. It doesn't cost you a thing. And make sure you click that bell. Turn it on. It's just going to notify you when I upload a new video. Now, don't worry, guys. I didn't forget about the new fish dance. I'm going to show you the video clip where I did the very first fish dance and then i got a couple others behind it to kind of like sprinkle it without further ado enjoy i don't know about you guys but when i actually get fish the mood that i'm in is sort of like this 
Cue the music. Cue the music. Cue the music. Cue the music. Ah, the good old fish dance. You can never go wrong with the new fish dance. Ohana, you guys tell me down below in the comments. Do you prefer the new fish dance or the old school style, we got a fish? Hmm, I'm kind of curious. All right, so this segment here is, I guess you can say, my love-hate relationship with Home Depot. Now, when doing a DIY project in the aquarium hobby, everybody has their go-to spot. For me, it is Home Depot and it always will be. But there are times where Home Depot gets on my nerves and sometimes I gotta cheat and go to its evil step twin brother, Lowe's. Here's some clips on my love-hate relationship with Home Depot. Check it out. So we are here at Home Depot. This is my go-to place. This is the guy I call in to close the game. Home Depot, when I need stuff for my aquarium. Oh, hey guys, so we're here. Um, don't tell my girlfriend Home Depot, but we're actually here at Lowe's, my other girlfriend. Lowe's is kind of like my side piece, so just don't say anything, all right? It was the closest place. It, I didn't want to drive a little bit further up the street. I, I'm sorry, all right? Call me a bad boyfriend. Let's go. Boom, guys, you know what? I just couldn't do it to my baby, you know? You know when you've been in a long-term relationship with somebody and then you guys kind of like are on the rocks and you break up and then you try something new and you go out with another girl. You're in the apartment, you're walking around, you're like, this doesn't feel right. I had that feeling over at Lowe's, right? So we're back here, my baby. I am so sorry. All right, guys, we are here. Yep, the evil twin stepbrother, Lowe's. I never thought in a million years that I would be coming to Lowe's over Home Depot, but I guess you got to do what you got to do. I almost feel kind of awkward going into Lowe's because it's kind of foreign to me. I've been such a Home Depot guy from day one. Uh, let's just see, man. Maybe Lowe's is going to make me a believer. Hey, down in the comments below, Home Depot or Lowe's for you guys? I'm kind of curious. Home Depot for me. Home Depot just sounds like a man's place. Home Depot. And then you got Lowe's. Mm. Hey, what's up, Ohana? I'm just enjoying a banana. Now this next segment, your boy has gone and did some mukbangs. If you guys don't know what a mukbang or a mukbang is, it's where you actually test food and you vlog it. Well, I've done this a couple times and I had some fun doing it. Check out some clips here on the mukbang. Let's see what this hype is about with this, you know, chicken sandwich thing. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, could I get a uh, classic chicken sandwich? Only sandwich? Uh, yeah, just the sandwich. No pickles and no chicken? What? No pickles and no chicken on my sandwich? What the hell? Yeah, can I get a bun with uh, sauce? I've never had these chicken sandwiches before. Let's check it out. Let's see what the hype is all about. As you can see, I get mine plain to each his own. Cheers. Good crunch. It's a good piece of chicken. Chashi bao. Mmm. Mmm, look at that. Mmm. Stuffed with barbecue pork. My channel is turning to, <laughs> from a fish channel into a food channel. That is what you call a mukbang, baby. Now, if you guys at home want me to do a mukbang in one of my videos, comment down below. Let me know where to go, what to eat, and your boy will probably mukbang it for you. I love a good mukbang. Now, this next segment is about my three sons that I love so much. Right here is Makayo, right here is Kona, and my older son, Kainoa, is at a basketball tournament. If he wasn't at a basketball tournament, he'd be right here too. I love this segment of the video because it shows you how I bring my boys into the fish keeping hobby with me. Uh, they've learned a lot over the years and it's kind of neat to actually see them kind of grow up on YouTube. It's crazy when I was looking at this old footage. So uh, sit tight, relax, and enjoy this segment with my three sons. Before we get in, I gotta get a couple wild banshees. Let's go, boys. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Baby peacocks, let's go. There's wild banshees here. Watch out, watch out. Don't let me hit my camera. Jeez, man. Banshee. Banshees, man. Wild. Guys are pets, guys. If you're ever in Yuba City, and, and, California, and, and, come check them out. It's an awesome place. What? There was a big iguana by his tail. Oh, yeah. What was his name? Uh, I don't know. Levi was his name. Yeah, Levi. They have, a, they have a, a lot of pets that are here. 
live roaming around in geyser pets. Uh, you have a Cuban iguana named Levi roaming around. You have Franklin, who is a huge tortoise, 21 years old. I believe it's a cicada tortoise um, that is 21 years old roaming around. He'll live another 100 and maybe another 120 years, so he's going to outlive us all. He'll outlive everybody in the store that's breathing air right now, so that's pretty wild. Puts, th puts things into perspective how long these tortoises live. But anyways, had a good time. We're going to head out to the house right now. We got our goods here, and we'll see you guys when we get home. Punch it out. Punch it out. Punch out the screen. No, not there. That's not, <laughs> that's not the, the camera. No, that's not the camera either. It's right here. Fast what is it? It's been fast <laughs> what should they do, guys? Hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Yes, hit that subscribe button. Hold on, Ohana. I got to step in here really fast. This next clip is my older son. Now, I received a text message from him. It was about three minutes long, and I thought something happened to him, so I'm thinking the worst. But he sends me this clip of him doing a fish door tour with his buddy. Check it out. Aloha. It's your boy. Rodamel, aka Hawaiian Peacock, here with another video for you with all these colorful, beautiful fish. Look at them. Look at these beauties. Oh, yeah, they look beautiful. You got the black more goldfish. Oh, you also oh. got the red or ander goldfish. Oh, yeah, you also got some plain good goldfish. As you can see, you can see 20 dead down there. So that's great. You can see another one. Oh, wow, that's. It's great filtration for the fish. You got assorted koi right here. It's great for my pond. All right, I'm sorry, I gotta interrupt one more time. So I'm watching this video and I'm thinking to myself, oh, this is kind of cool. I must have inspired him to do like a little fish door tour with his buddy. But then I start to realize, well, wait a minute. Also, we got a black molly's. And I hate these things. I hate these things right here, because you know why? They ate my plants on the baby peacock's tank. I just them to the gods. I think this dude is clowning me. Oh, he's making fun of me. I thought I was inspiring him, but he wasn't. He was just straight clowning dad. So disrespectful. This is so disrespectful. And then you also got another fish swimming around, but I think that thing's gonna be dead soon. <laughs> Whoa, oh. look at that thing. <laughs> That's a great dolphin beauty. Dolphin. Much love. And aloha to all my ohana out there. And this is so disrespectful. We also got um, Paul, P aka P. Diddy. Um, that's um, that's Inventory King. You also need to follow my boy, IFG. This is so disrespectful. So thank you, everybody. I hope you guys watch my video. Subscribe. Get those views up. Get my A. Oh hey, subscribe. Hit the notifications bell. And subscribe. Much love and aloha. Shh. Wow, you're a jerk. I know, you're a jerk. I know, you're a jerk. I know, you're a jerk. Junior Peacock claims that he can catch one of these fish with his bare hands. Junior Peacock, can you do it? There you go. Hey, he caught one. Look at that. Beautiful. You think, you think you're so cool, don't you? Why don't you say hi to millions and millions of people that watch the Hawaiian Peacock? Hey, aloha. Aloha, oh, okay. That's how he's going to be. Cool guy here. Hmm, okay. That's all right, man. You know those those teenagers, preteen stages? Yeah, that's what this guy's going through right here. Cool guy. Uh, anyways, uh, what do you think of the Hawaiian Peacock? He's a great person. And he's a good dad. Um, Keep going, man. Keep going. I'm loving this list. Great person, good dad. Keep going. Um, it makes me and other people inspired. Oh, okay. All right. I love this, man. Your speeches? I'm, and oh, my speeches. Um, oh, I give speeches? Sometimes. Um, oh, okay. There's something about Mother Nature and being involved with her children that just brings you closer to your pets. What the hell am I talking about right now? <laughs> I mean, it kind of sounded good, though. I inspire people with my speeches. Yeah, and your words. Oh, my words. Words of wisdom? Yes. Okay. All right, that's enough of him. Yeah, yeah. Let's get to the screen. <laughs> Why don't you pump, punch the screen out? Punch it out. Yeah. Well, the screen is right there, oh. dude. That's okay. <laughs> Just so disrespectful. But you got to love your kids, right? 
Check this out, Ohana. On this segment here, you guys are absolutely gonna love this one. Why don't you guys go get some popcorn, sit back, relax, and get ready to laugh? Because I get a lot of comments from a lot of the Ohana, you guys out there, and some of my good friends ask me, where do I come up with my script? How do I deliver it so smooth? It's not always like that. Like I said earlier in the video, I don't have a script, I don't have cue cards, I just freestyle it. I'm sort of like the Eminem of YouTube vlogging freestyling. When I know something about you, you went to Cranbrook, that's a private school. Nah, but seriously, it's not always so smooth. Here is a bunch of clips of some bloopers you guys will absolutely enjoy. I'm not that smooth, trust me. Please make it a priority if it the kitchen there's a lot of traffic going through so i really want to focus more on the steak of this uh this tank than this did i say steak <laughs> i meant scape steak steak is right there barbecue steak sorry about that that's weird okay so i'm gonna be totally honest <sighs> jeff thanks again man for taking care of the kids Jeff's gonna find a really good home for him. I appreciate it, man. We're gonna pound it out. I don't know what we got kind of got awkward there for a second. That was weird. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> okay, so we're back in the house where it's nice, warm, and comfy. Okay. And so uh Sorry. It's alright. Sorry. It's alright. Oh, oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, oh. Jeez. Oh, oh. Dude. Oh, oh. Yes. Okay, so as I sit here with my wiener in my hands, <laughs> this is the correct way of doing it. And that's how you break your wrist, too. <laughs> as I'm just going to go out and say it right now. He's got the best flower horns in Colorado. In Colorado. In Colorado. Next to that subscribe button is a little bell. It's a notification. Now I know some of you guys are probably asking. Now I know some of you guys are probably thinking. Now I know some of you guys are probably saying, so, so where's the bog filter at? Truth of the matter is, appreciate you showing us your awesome flower horn breeding project. But, but, hold on, hold on. Shh. But not only does he... <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. But not only does he do that, but not only does he. Aloha, my Ohana. This is <laughs> yeah, I figured you guys would love those bloopers, right? You're seeing your boy at his most vulnerable moment. Now, check it out. I guess you can say, we're going to save the best for last. You're going to absolutely love this one. Now, this segment here I call Wifey, and you guys are absolutely going to love it. My wife is going to hate it because she hates being in my videos yeah I think I have like over 300 videos and she's only made cameos in three videos and she hates it and it's like pulling teeth trying to get her in my video and a lot of you guys the Ohana always say hey man we want to see more of wifey and trust me I try to get her in these videos she just hates it she's not a camera person she hates talking on camera she kind of freezes but I had to make some clips of her. You guys are absolutely gonna love these clips, especially the very last one while I pull a prank on her. But uh, yeah, shout out to Wifey, the Ohana. Check out these clips of uh, what I call Wifey. Just got in the car. I'm here with the missus. She doesn't want to be in my videos. How dare her, she doesn't want to be in my videos. It's so rude. Straight up to my face, guys, that she doesn't want to be in my videos. Look at this bad boy I got. Oh my God, it's another fish for me to worry about tonight. <laughs> I was listening to your story. I felt really bad for you that you went because you were talking about it all morning. And when we hung up, I asked the boys, should we go surprise daddy and get him that fish? And they're like, yeah, yeah. Now I know right now my wife is just cringing right now and she's probably mad at me. So pray for me, Ohana, all right? I'm gonna need all your prayers. Down in the comments below, just send a little emoji with the prayer hands, okay? Cause I'm gonna need it after I show you guys this last and final clip. This was a video I made. It was a prank video where I pranked 
everybody in the house, especially her. Now, when it comes to anything aquatic or reptiles, she does not like it. She cringes, she gets scared if the fish jump and hit like the top of the cover. She, she jumps and she just, <laughs> she's just on edge all the time when it comes to this stuff. So I figured I'd do a prank on her hilarious enjoy this one and if you haven't seen the video i'll leave a link down in the description below of this video if you want to see the full length video it is classic you guys are absolutely gonna love this and she's absolutely gonna hate this so enjoy ohana you guys know this is my lovely wife renee she's gonna give us a hand give her props comment down below right without her i couldn't be doing what i'm doing right now guys hold on i'm gonna grab this i'm gonna grab this net babe wait hold on Actually, just hold that net for me, okay? And then uh, go ahead and just move that piece of plastic and then just, just a piece of plastic. Grab the, no, it's not, it's not gonna do anything, babe. Trust me. No, there's nothing. Just move the piece of plastic. Gosh. Oh, 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 oh my gosh, sorry. Oh, sorry. We're gonna have to bleep that out, okay? <laughs> it was just, it was just a joke, babe. <laughs> We're gonna... <laughs> Sorry, sorry. <laughs> what, what <laughs> she, she, <laughs> so I got some footage, some different angles, so we're gonna go ahead and run those clips now. ask you what was going through your mind what were you thinking when this came out I just thought I was helping you pick a crawfish you said <laughs> you and were scared I was afraid to even put your hand in the bucket I know how you are <laughs> I have a side ache because you scared me so bad <laughs> she got so scared that she couldn't even react panic zone she's a panicker guys sorry about the cuss words no it's all good don't worry we'll bleep all the cuss words or maybe we'll edit those out wasn't that like just the ultimate prank it involved cuss words it involved getting a side ache and uh, it involved me sleeping in the living room for about a week it was so worth it though it was pure entertainment for you guys speaking of entertainment ohana i hope you guys enjoyed this video i put so much work it was like i said two weeks of getting clips editing finding the clips going back one two years and it was just so much fun putting this together for you guys i've always wanted to do like a best of i can't say it's the best of 2021 because it was like a medley best of 2020 2019 uh but if you guys have your favorite hawaiian fish keeper video leave a comment down below let me know maybe i'll put another one because there's just so much footage i mean i had like over an hour of footage but i compiled it down to like as you can see this video is probably like 25 minutes long or something like that but anyways we went out with a bang in 2021 we are going to welcome in 2022 with some more bangers i hope you and your family had a very merry christmas happy new year to everybody out there and in hawaiian as we say merry christmas and a happy new year from my ohana to yours have a great day. We'll see you guys in the next video. Much love and aloha.